I can't believe you because I can't believe influencers when they say that they enjoy something. My Amazon stuff came. The stuff that I bought? You bought. $100. You didn't buy it. I bought it. With your money. First things first. A this expanding oh. dish rack. So mm -hmm. that way I can like put it away because I don't want it to stay on my counter. I got air fryer. Denise. I set so I can stop using that one knife. Ooh, oh my god, like my theme is coming together, like it's coming together. <laughs> you don't even care about my theme. Like what? Um, a frother, which needs batteries by the way, so I haven't even been able to use it. Girl, really? Batteries? It's called Dollar Tree. Like, what kind of gift is that? What kind of gift? <laughs> no, I gotta get the extra things. Blog, what do you think? You like this. Mm. Right place or no? Lost her job. Like her job fired her because she was a lawyer and making. I literally, like I literally said, that. I said I don't. <laughs> no, that's where it needs to be. Next to where you about to cook. Oh, that is cute. So I just set up this little knife rack thing. I also played around a little bit with this really cool expandable um dish rack. I do like how compact it is and literally I can just put this right underneath when I'm done with it because I do not want this on display. I know far like the vibe is vibing like I'm really sticking with this like stainless steel like bop like ow I just got shocked. Like even these are like stainless steel and then over here I do want to do like a like I was telling my mom, I want to do like a coffee like bar situation here. This is not staying here. And also my air fryer is in here. I also do have some other gizmos and gadgets down here, like a waffle maker. This is like a, this could probably go like on my bar cart whenever I get it. It's like a aerator, like wine cap covers. I think I got this from like Walmart or something. I mean not Walmart, Marshalls. This is a corksicle. Take off corks and a coffee press. Some little home updates, and I am going to call it a night. I think I'm gonna edit um, last week's vlog a little bit, watch some YouTube. Um, let me know what new TV shows you guys are watching. Like, what shows are y'all watching? Because I just finished watching One Day on Netflix. Comment down below if you watched that show. That show broke me. Apparently, it's also a movie, too. Um, and Anne Hathaway started it like years ago, so like some people already knew what the ending was. But me, I did not, and I just knew something bad was gonna happen. I just knew, I just knew. Yeah, let me know what new shows you guys are watching. I need a new show to watch. But for right now, YouTube won't have to do. But I'm chatting, so I will see you guys tomorrow. My vlog. Um, today is today is Wednesday. And I just came back from Whole Foods because I'm going to be making stuffed peppers for dinner tonight. And it's actually getting quite late. I did let the day escape me, but cooking series again. I still do not know what is the best thing to title this cooking series. But cook with me today. We're going to try out these stuffed bell peppers. Ingredients. I got some like Spanish rice. In an ideal world, I would make my own Spanish rice, but I ain't got that type of time. I just have some ground beef. I got two bell peppers. I'm a single girl. Literally don't need to be making six, seven peppers. And some first things first, let me cut these peppers. I've seen some where people cut it in half, and then I've seen some where people cut off the top. But I think I want to cut it in half. Okay. Dang. Now one half is way bigger than the other. Start this up. And then I think I have to roast these in the oven for about 
10 minutes to get them soft. I'm just gonna put a little oil on it. Whoa. Garlic powder, chili powder, onion powder, paprika. Add a little bit of this. Good. Garlic. Right now I have the rice boiling. I finished my ground beef. I roasted the peppers. And I want to show you guys this trick that my mom taught me with rice. You let the like sauces cook out a little bit, like whatever the water is. Two cups of water to one cup of rice. That's like the general rule, but this is like a pre-made like package thing, so I followed like their measurements. But you boil the water first, then you add your rice, and then you let the water or whatever cook out a little bit. And then once your spoon sticks up, then it's ready to put the lid on. Cover it now, set it to low, and I'm gonna let this cook for 10 minutes. So once that rice is done, I'm going to mix it with the ground beef and then I'm going to add a little bit of tomato sauce and then we can stuff the peppers. I don't want that. Mix together. And now I'm starting to think it was too much rice. It's good though. First spoon. I stuffed the peppers, I put the cheese on top, I put the filling in it, whatever, cool. I'll come back when it's all done. My stuffed peppers are done. I wish they were a little bit more brown. Honestly, forget that. I wish I used mozzarella. I didn't realize that was like the cheese of choice. Yum. Let's cut into it and see what the vibes are. Ugh, the cheese is dry. First bite. Mmm. That is good. I can't believe you because I can't believe influencers when they say that they enjoy something. Okay. Why'd you have to bring that up? I do feel like I'm supposed to season the pepper or something, but the food itself is already so seasoned. And the pepper just adds an extra like freshness. This food was good. Thanks for joining in with me. I will see y'all and I'll talk to y'all later. Hi vlog. Today's Saturday and I'm going to a yoga class um, using Class Pass still. Um, class Pass sponsor me because $89 for a membership is actually egregious. I'm not really big on yoga. Like I like like lifting weights. Like I like being in the gym, but I haven't been to my own apartment gym yet. I'm not wearing anything too crazy, literally just some leggings, Adidas, black crop top. I think when I'm over there, I'm going to try and find a bakery um, and do like a little bakery review. Yeah, excited about that because I didn't have coffee today, but I did have a full breakfast. Let me hurry up and go because I need to like factor in time to find um, parking and stuff like that. A minute, so yeah, I have to leave. Now, hopefully they let me record. If not, I'll let you guys know how the experience went. Let's head to yoga. It's at Aloe Yoga in Georgetown. I'm pretty sure Aloe is like a fitness brand, but we're about to go find out. So let's go. Really crowded in Georgetown today. I 
did yoga at Alo Yoga. I will say it was a good class. It was very challenging. I will say that it was challenging. The only thing that I wasn't really vibing with was the music selection. If I'm going to yoga, I want to be zen. So go ahead and play those beach sounds. Go ahead and play the, the smooth jazz, whatever you got to play. I do not want to hear Taylor Swift. <laughs> she was a good teacher. She was actually pregnant. It was her last um, class. I want to see if I can find the Instagram picture that she posted. I could be a CIA agent. I found her page like that. What the heck? Um, but yeah, it was a good class. It was just the music. That was the only thing. At the end, she did like this really, she did like soft music at the end. And then she like rubbed her hands with like some kind of like aromatherapy. Like it smelled like lemon and eucalyptus. And there's another scent that I'm missing. But she like waved it over our faces and it smells so good. I should have asked her what it was. But for area, I'm going to give it like a three. And then for class vibes, I'm going to give it like a 3.54. And then just like overall, like the yoga itself, like the actual like act of doing the yoga, I would give it a five because it was challenging. I feel relaxed. I feel like, you know, I stretched my body the way it needs to be stretched. Um, and I really liked the teacher. She was nice. The vibe too. Like aloe is a clothing brand. So like it was the first floor was the the clothes and then the top floor is yoga which i thought was a really really cool experience um that they have that like they stay true like lululemon don't give yoga classes do they i don't know but i thought that was really cool that they had that there i'm just chatting now but anyway i went to baked and wired um, as a coffee shop in georgetown and you guys know i'm trying to find the best of so i got a dirty chai Ooh. This is a lot of cupcake. If you know me, I don't really like icing that much. It's really good. Like, out of five, I'm gonna give it out of five. And then, this is a little cupcake I got. This is a chai cupcake. Okay. That's good. I really need a new vlog camera. Like, I got this vlog camera about... I got it in 2021. It was a gift to myself when I started, like, redoing YouTube and, like, really getting into it but the lens is too big the size of this camera makes it even more uncomfortable so i need to get a smaller like i thought that a smaller lens would help i need to be a canon g7x girly i need to be a sony zv1 girly one of them girlies because i can't do this no more i can't be snapped on my dinner tonight i recorded me making this on tiktok so if you're not following me there you gotta follow me there i haven't missed you yet like Oh, I forgot my yum yum sauce. So let's try that. I don't even think I want to put this all over it. Let's have a little wine. Cheers. Oh, too good. Yum yum sauce, definitely. I don't little know. vlog. Back in the same spot you found me. Um, I don't know what it is. Like, I have nothing against my kitchen. I'm so grateful for this kitchen. So grateful for this apartment but I need to get furniture in my living space so I can give you guys different angles because this kills me when I'm editing, like, kills me. Anyway, I just went to a coffee shop on my blog and it's not that good. Um, yeah, it's not that good, so I probably won't be back, but I'm gonna make myself some quick breakfast and I'm gonna head over to New Jersey. Calabasas to go see my friends mm, because we're going to Dustin Comrade's concert tonight. I'm so excited. Got my outfit. I'm just gonna pack up my stuff. I just did a little bit of quick work, even though today is my day off, but it had to get done. Like, I finished packing. I just gotta pack up like little things like this camera, batteries, etc. etc. I cooked this quick breakfast and I'll see y'all when I'm in Jersey. Vlog, I've made it to Calabasas, aka. New Jersey. <laughs> I'm about to start getting ready for the concert. Mel is in her room and Duan is also
Body very tight, jam. Long time we don't kill a man. So we serve to the best. Take a bomb, take a jam. I pray for so the most catch up. That's the end of it. He must like shama mother. I love that man. We are ready to go to see Dustin Conrad, the king. Let me give you guys alpha checks. Let's go. Eliante. <laughs> Harley Davidson. <laughs> Versace. Period. Yeah. Um, Jimmy Choo. Mm -hmm. Jimmy Choo. Uh, I got these from uh, Minimal. And the Carisha with the chain. <laughs> Sache on the shades, yeah. vintage, you know, Telfizi, yeah. thrifted, yeah. urban, <laughs> Calvin, I think these are pretty little things, uh -huh. Vivian, Westwood, <laughs> Amazon, her, <laughs> Jacket Zara, bodysuit, body yaddy yaddy, body gym, Bodysuit, Fashion Nova, boots, Shein, bag, Shein. Be by. Be by me. Per. And that's all I got. <laughs> pray again. Pray again. Pray again. Pray again. All right. I'll see y'all later. I'm going to vlog from my phone from here on out. <laughs> and I'll see y'all when we get to the concert. <laughs> going like I have not picked up the camera since that concert on Monday like I've been so busy with work I'm so sorry wow this vlog may be very short but I hope it was still very entertaining I feel like my body is literally crashing on me the way that I've been working so hard this week oh let me tell you about the concert the concert I was this close this close to me and Dustin Conrad but it's okay, it's okay, in another, in another life, in another life, like, it's okay, it's okay. Um, but the concert was cute, like, he's very, like, crowd control on 10, we all know that he's from Vine, like, so he was really funny, um, kept the crowd laughing, kept the crowd grooving, um, so yeah, and the tickets were really cheap, so if you, if you get the chance to see him, if you have the opportunity to see him, um, even if you don't listen to his music, I think this is a great introduction to, like, his sound. So, um, caught them tickets, and yeah, I had a good time. Yesterday, I randomly went to this happy hour hosted by SheMB on Instagram. I'll put the name on the screen. And they have, like, little events where you can meet people, meet, black, meet other black women in the D.C. area. And I was on the wait list initially for the event, so I didn't think I was going to be able to go. But while I was at work, I got a message saying that um i was off the wait list and i can rcp so i ended up going to that randomly yesterday so i didn't have my camera or anything um but the girls that i met were really nice i'm proud of myself for putting myself out there and like getting out of my comfort zone like ugh, like i went to that event by myself like i was just like okay i'm gonna go like and i didn't even like psych myself out or nothing like i normally would do i was like okay girl just go like and be yourself and yeah, that's what I did. But today I'm going to do my friend Ree's makeup um, for her birthday photo shoot. Um, she asked me to do her makeup. I'm not a makeup artist, but I can do a little brush brush, a little tap tap. You know, I can do a little some some. 
And I used to do freelance videography for a makeup artist, so I kind of know like a little bit, a little bit. I'll do that now, I'm about to pack up my stuff, and then I'll see y'all when I get there. I am with Ree at her apartment, and we're about to get started on her birthday makeup. Hi! I look Ooh. crazy. <laughs> it's okay, she's about to be a baddie. Yeah. She's about to be a baddie soon, so have no fear. But look at this view. Hold on. Look at this. You can see the this is what? Oh, so, so I'm gonna do a picture. She said she has a mirror. These two palettes. So this one, and I brought this one. I'm gonna try to pose like this and this. Hey, what are you wearing? Yes. I'm gonna show you one of the dresses. And then the other one's basically the same thing. <laughs> update on like how the photo shoot comes out her birthday is next month but i stand anybody who plans their birthday months in advance i'm gonna cook i'm about to cook um i'm gonna take it easy tonight um not going out tonight but i'm gonna make steak shrimp mashed potatoes and corn so i'm gonna make that i'm not gonna record it so sorry maybe the next time i make it i'm like a little tired <laughs> But it was really nice, like, talking to Rhea, doing her makeup and stuff. It's just nice to talk to someone who already knows me. And I'm not, like, in the process of, like, getting to know her, like, as opposed to, like, work. Or, like, when I go out to these other events where, like, I'm in the process of getting to know people. It's just nice to, like, already know somebody. <laughs> like, that's all I have to say about that. If you guys can relate, thumbs, thumbs up this video. We're doing something tomorrow. I gotta do something with my life. And I need to go to Trader Joe's. I'm always at Trader Joe's. What is it about living on your own that you're always at the grocery store? <sighs> I don't know. Anyway, I'll see y'all later. Food is done. And then we can taste it together. Please. That fan be overstimulating me. Should have added more seasoning to the mashed potatoes, but other than that, I can complain like cheers to the night. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Good morning vlog. Good morning vlog. It is the next day. Today is a Saturday. I actually didn't end up going out today. Like could not make it out of bed this morning. I even set an alarm to wake up at nine o'clock so I could go to Trader Joe's. And I ended up waking up, I ended up snoozing those alarms and waking up at 11. I mean, and you know, if you try to go to Trader Joe's anytime after 11, you might as well go ahead and sign up for the war yourself because it is hell in there. So I decided to opt out, stay in for the day, do a little bit of cleaning. I'm doing my laundry right now. I'm about to edit the vlog for the week. I'm not sure how next week's vlog is gonna go. I'm not sure because I have no plans. <laughs> I have zero plans. Zero plans. I am going to a party on Saturday, but between Monday and Friday, I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna have to figure out some ways to spice up the vlog for you guys next week, and I'm probably planning that today and tomorrow because it's looking, it's looking real in the house. It's looking real in the house. But I did just make some breakfast, super yummy, yum yum yum. Just my, I make the same breakfast every. Sometimes I switch it up, and I'll have like a waffle instead of like toast or whatever. 
but I have bacon, potato latkes, lot latkes. I don't know if I'm saying that right. They're like little potato hash brown thingies I got from Trader Joe's. Um, fried eggs with the chili onion crunch from Trader Joe's, and some toast with cinnamon sugar butter. I'm about to eat that, get started, and I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Be sure to like this video if you like this video. Maybe comment down below what you want to see from me in upcoming vlogs because, yeah. <laughs> and don't forget to follow me on all my socials. I'm very active on Instagram and TikTok. Some behind the scenes stuff you don't get to see on the vlog. So go ahead over there. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.